Hey guys, so I've always been interested in science and technology and trying to incorporate that into my artwork. So that's what this week's video is. I feel like there's a lot of data out there collected by governments, individuals that's available for public use. And so I wanted to try to use some of this data for something that interested me. So NASA has a database available of the locations of all the planets thousand years ago to a thousand years in the future. So I want to try to use that data and map out where the planets were on any given day and then translate that into a traditional printmaking print at the end of the video. So the first bit of this video is going through and writing the computer program that handles the data and getting the data from NASA. And then I move into the traditional medias for the linoleum print. So if you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment box. and I'll be happy to answer them the best I can. All right, so let's get into it. So the first step is to figure out where the planets are on the day that I want. So I use the Horizon system on the JPL website. And the Horizon system is an online database that lets you get information for comets, planets, satellites, and all this other information that NASA keeps track of and makes available for the public to use. So if you go to the web interface, you first pick what type of data you're looking for. So I want vectors, which will give us the X, Y, and Z coordinates. The next step is to pick your, your coordinate origin, which is where you want everything to be based off of, which will pick the sun. Then you pick the, the date that you want the information for. And last step is to pick the target of what you want. And down here we choose where we want to see it. So I just want to see it right on the website. And then you hit generate. The first thing you're going to get up top is going to be the information about that planet, size, gravity, etc. But what we're looking for is further down the page, which is going to be the X and Y coordinates. So I'm going to go ahead and copy the X and the Y over to an Excel spreadsheet and then do the same for the other planets. So the program I use to do the calculations is called Processing. So Processing is a free software, open source. Um, it's really easy to use. There's a lot of tutorials online for it. And it's great for graphic work. And you can also do pretty complicated things with it as well. Uh, I'm not a computer programmer, so my coding is pretty choppy. I'm sure there's a lot of easier ways to do what I was trying to do, but I got it to work using what I know. So here's the program. So I'll quickly go through this. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, but I'll be more than happy to answer any questions that I can. So up here is just the general setup for the program. These are the coordinates that we copied over from the Excel spreadsheet. This section flips the X coordinates. So all the planets, the entire setup is backwards since it's printmaking and you want it to be backwards. So when you print it, it shows up correctly. And then this section is setting up the, the grid for the planets. If I ran the program how it is now, this is what you get. Basically the sun and then all the planets on these evenly spaced rings. So these rings are based off of this max orbit here. And I chose that based on how much border I wanted around. So this is 8 by 10 and how much space I wanted around here. And so every planet is evenly spaced from this outer ring all the way to the center. So in reality, the first couple planets are fairly close to each other, but as you get further out, the gaps between them get so far that you wouldn't be able to show it in any kind of scale on an 8x10 sheet of paper. And you also can't really show the planets relative to each other to scale. So what I'm trying to show is the position on a given day of the planets, not the distance or the size of them. And so that's what all these calculations do, and these are figuring out the coordinates of each of these circles. So for each planet, so we start with the sun's easy, it's just in the center. Mercury, it does some calculations using that outer distance and figures out how far it needs to be from the sun to hit this outer ring, but still be in the correct relative position as if it was way out in space out here. So it essentially pulls it from out here all the way into this ring. And this planet would be way out here and pulls it straight into this ring. And I do that for each planet. So now if I run the program, so what it's doing is it's constantly calculating the position of where the mouse is, this red circle, and the distance in centimeters from the top left corner to the mouse. And this is all scaled to an 8 by 10 sheet of paper. And so the map board template that shows in the next step 
has a mark in this top left corner that I use to measure all the planets to get them exactly where they need to be. So to figure out where this planet is, I simply hover over it and I get 17.4 centimeters. This planet's 1775 and so on. So the first step in making the actual print is gonna recreate that computer image on to a physical piece of mat board. So I'm marking the rings the, the right dimensions and then marking a X in the top left corner, which is where I pull the dimensions off of to match the program. Next step is using a circle cutter. Go ahead and cut through the mat board to make the individual rings. So here you can see each ring moves individually from each other. Now I'm cutting a backing board just to reinforce it and give it all something to sit on and gluing that together. Now using just regular linoleum, I'm cutting out little strips so I can carve out each planet. So now I go through and put each planet onto the, each ring, make sure it fits and make sure they all slide by each other without getting stuck, and then glue them on. So now I'm ready to set up the print to actually run it through the press. So using some scrap linoleum, I put it on the sides of the planet and then using the brayer, roll across it to ink up each planet. So I first look at the computer interface and just try to eyeball the planets in where I think they're gonna end up being as close as I can. And then using the computer interface, where I move the mouse to each planet, it'll give me a distance from the top left corner. And then using the ruler from that same point on the piece of mat board, I can get the exact distance from that corner to the center of the planet. And after I go through each planet, I tape down that ring just so it doesn't slide out of position. Next, I put on the press bed. So depending on the arrangement of the planets, I set the paper up so it centers the entire cluster of planets on the paper. So next, I run it through the press. And then the final step of this print is to add the lines from the sun to each planet. And here's the final print. So this one's October 7th, 2007. Here's another one, November 30th, 1981. And the final one is May 14th, 1983. And so using this program, I can then go through and pick any date that I want and create a new print based on that date. All right, so that wraps up this week's video. If you have any questions, make sure you leave them down in the comment box and I'll be sure to answer them. And I appreciate you guys clicking subscribe and helping the channel keep growing. And if you're interested in buying one of these prints with whatever date you like, I'll have a link down in the description box. All right, thanks.